Hey, it's me, TB, and today we are going to be unboxing Skultimate Secrets Clio Denial. Um, these should be hitting stores fairly soon if, if they haven't already. I bought mine online, so usually when they, when they start appearing online, this is usually a pretty good sign they're going to start appearing physically soon. And they should be retailing for like around 35 I paid 40 I've heard 35 I've heard 30 so somewhere um, between that range. And if you like this video and you want more doll content on your feed, as well as the occasional bookish content, you can subscribe and like this video, as well as comment, as all of that helps a lot. So, this is Clue Denial in her Skull Secrets outfit. Nothing really important to here to say, but there are 19 surprises. This is like the cutie reveal at Barbie, where if you look at the stock photos, you can see all of their surprises. It is not random. Um, but it's like surprises for our kids, you know, it would surprise them. But um, as adults that can access the internet, it won't surprise you. So you don't have to worry about um, blind box stuff. Um, and on the back, there's just art of the other ghouls. We have Dracula, Laura, Claudine, Frankie, and Laguna. And it's just general um, warning information. I will go ahead and say that I'm not doing the like color reveal for the keys because you don't have to. So you know why do it? Um, I'll say before I undo this because I've already undone one other one that if you do want to preserve this back part, be careful about taking off the tape, um, holding it down, because it's pretty much like the locker itself is just covered in this like plastic and paper like cardboard shell. So you, if you're going to want to save this, save this back part, just be careful when peeling the tape, because um, this back part does peel very easily. So just be careful. Um, if you want to preserve the front part, that's a lot easier because there's nothing really that should mess this up as long as you are gentle when taking off like the side part. Um, it should all come up pretty easily and there isn't any tape on this front section. If you just want to save this part, you should be fine. Um, the back part, just be careful about the tape peeling the back paper. So yeah, now I shall free the locker slash coffin. So here is Cleo's locker coffin thingy. Um, it looks pretty much the same as Frankie's. I went ahead and checked that all the detailing on the outside is identical. So they all have this spider web pattern here, spider web pattern with the, here with the, with the skullette, um, the Monster High little logo, the crystal ball and sparkle and stuff. And the spider web up here, they're all pretty much the exact same. It's all just in a different um, color. And also, if you wanted to, you can hang this on the wall by using these two back holes. So now it is time to free Cleo. So here is Cleo still strapped down. She is beautiful. She doesn't appear to have any major issues from what I can tell. Her eyes might, might be slightly wonky, but isn't bad enough to really bother me. So I'm good. So thank God. Um, right now I am two for two. So on her little locker panel, we can see um, the words Glamour Ghoul, as well as a little photo that says Best Bees Forever, with a clue of Frankie and Deuce, a little crystal, her name, a hand, um, I think I think it's a cartouche, I want to say, a scarab. And here we can see that she doesn't like tuna. She prefers makeup over gaming, which for Cleo makes sense, to be honest. I think that's like planning a party or going live on your phone. And it says... And she says she does both because, like, those are, like, balloons. It looks like a streamer of some kind and a disco ball. And that's, like, a little tripod for your phone. So I'm assuming it's, like, she's planning a party and she's going live on, like, Instagram, maybe. Um, so I'm assuming anyway. And the two drinks. Um, she prefers hers over over Draculaura's. So weird thing to include, but cool. Here we can see a picture of her makeup, her phone, and a picture of her and Frankie in their ghoul spirit looks. And a picture of his set and oh my god tut i was about to say anubis but that is tut actually and here we can see she was born on january 5th i think that is um that one kind of looks like a seven but i appreciate that that is january 5th so yeah now i shall cut cleo free so yeah i gave the same disclaimer in my video for frankie but the doll is attached um in their head via little ties right here so when pulling out you want to be careful to not totally pick up the back um, as far as I can tell, there isn't a way to safely remove the like backing detailing, um, kind of cut the ties without fucking it up. So, so just fair warning. Same thing with these long, longer ties. I have no idea how I'm going to actually remove those without fucking up the back. Because as far as I can tell, they're pretty like snug fit. So yeah, thankfully it isn't too badly fucked up. Just something to kind of keep in mind, you know? So here is Clue Denial. As you can see, her bangs are giving me problems. Who's surprised? No one. Um, because bangs are kind of notoriously awful. I'm pretty sure Harry is Saran, but don't quote me on that shit because I don't know for sure. But it feels kind of like the same way Saran feels whenever it's like freshly out, out of the box. And there is tinsel and like, I don't want to say it's like the better kind of tinsel, 
but it kind of looks like the same kind of tinsel that um, Abby had in G1. But again, don't quote me. I don't know. That's just what it looks like to me. But yeah, it is in this darker blue and, and this lighter blue with tinsel throughout and just have some bangs. If you want to see what her eyebrows look like, there you go. She is sporting a pink lip with blue eyeshadow. So that's pretty cute. Her shirt with, has printed on detailing and looks like that's supposed to be like a scarab, I want to say. Um, but it looks like mummy wraps with like scarabs and jewels on it. Um, and there is a little ribbon around the bottom that is sewn on, I want to say. Yeah, it's like part of the top, so you can't remove it. Um, but again, it looks like it's just like like black mummy wraps almost because of the way these like lighter lines go throughout the back. I want to say it's like a like black mummy wrap with some like scarabs and jewels on it, pretty much. And our skirt is just this shiny blue material. And our first set of shoes are these longer boots that are again mummy wraps with scarab and jewel detailing going up them. And also on this leg, the painting isn't the like best. You can see it kind of like went off the center a little bit. So there's paint kind of going off, going off the shoe. And while there is kind of like a blank space on the other side, not gonna bother me, but just something to kind of keep in mind and keep your um, eyes on. Um, because this side appears to be fine. Everything appears to be aligned pretty well. Um, this part is slightly off center as well, but this time to the right. Uh, but nothing like totally awful, at least to me anyway. Um, the treads are in a kind of like scaly pattern. So that's pretty cool. And the heels are little snakes. So that's pretty fucking adorable. Now, I know people are complaining about my try not having cool heels again. Well, now we have these. So that's pretty cool. And as well as that, in the first section, there was a little key. Um, again, I'm not going to do the little water effect for it. But if you look at the bottom, you can see what color it is. And it is the darker blue. So you just put in the key and turn, and there you go. The packaging is kind of like a unique for characters. This is what Cleo's look like. Cleo's looks like is just yellow with the feet, mummy wrap hearts. Um, so we get a second key. We get this headband that is gold with a, what looks like a jewels in the shape of scarabs going all across it. Um, so that's pretty cute. And the painting on this one seems to be pretty solid. There's no like without it fucking up. So that's pretty nice. And we have this blue necklace with a white center and it looks like a little flower. As well as these two pink earrings that kind of continue the trend of, you know, scarabs and jewels for Cleo. So our next little box to open is the gold one it looks like. I'm just gonna close that and open the next little section. First, we get a key ring for all of our keys. So basically, you can just pop off the back to this and you can slide your keys on, like so. So you wanted to carry this around for whatever reason, you could, because you can lock these doors back up if, if you wanted to. I don't know for what, but you totally can. Um, all the keys work on, work on all the doors. So like this one is blue, but it does still work on the gold one. So like, don't worry if you lose a key or your box doesn't come with a certain key all the keys work on all the doors so yeah so here we have our third little key as well as our second pair of shoes these are pink um with little pyramids for the heels oh and the bottom is painted gold with like that pyramid brick deta detailing i want to say they're pink with a snake scale kind of like texture to them the like main it almost looks like it almost looks like they're made out of snakes entirely because like holy shit look at that the snake looks like it's coming like from right up there at the top and i wrapped around like her like um, calf, I want to say, and a snake comes down right there as well. So that's fucking incredible. Looks so good on this scale. So it looks like there are snakes as her shoes. Um, and she, as, as a whole, pretty like scaly de detailing. So that's pretty fucking adorable. And our final key for Cleo is this light blue. And I'll say this is weird because in my Frankie one, for whatever reason, the key was already kind of like removed of the like black covering. So that's kind of weird. Um, but anyway, on to our final little. Okay, wait, looks like I was wrong. It looks like our final key is already de already like decolored, um, or like recolored, I guess, which is so fucking weird. Cause like, why have the last one be the color? Like, I just don't get why. I don't know, it's just a weird thing for me anyway. We did get the rest of Cleo's little fashions. So, here we get this top. 
Um, again, continuing the like scales and my mummy wrap with what looks like yellow scales and kind of like a light blue wrap with the top section being a darker blue. And her pair of shorts kind of match her top. Oh my god, it looks like... I don't know what that is, but it looks like... I don't want to say a snake because there are like paws to it, but it doesn't look like, look, look like a scarab anymore either. I want to say it's a weasel, but that doesn't make any fucking sense because it's definitely not a scarab. Um, it's not like a lion or anything either. I'm like, what is that? Cause like even the back, it looks like a weasel or something because it, it's not a snake because there are paws and it's not a scarab. It's like, what the fuck is that? But it's so like golden animal and jewels on the black background. So yeah, it basically matches her first stop. And here is her jacket. It is gold with those big puffy sleeves. So that's pretty cute. Um, nothing else really to it, but it is shiny and golden. So yeah, now I shall change Cleo into her second outfit, which will probably look like a hot mess. But anyway, as well as show off her accessories on her. So here's Cleo decked out in her second outfit of sorts with all of her little accessories on it. This jacket doesn't work with her, doesn't work with her second top because this top already has kind of like sleeves to it almost. So it isn't like sitting fully right because these are, these little like shorter parts are supposed to be more like puffy and like more like kind of like a, a bow of sorts. But yeah, not the greatest look. Um, uh, but these heels do look fucking great, great on her. So thank God for that. I love the way they have the snakes look and how like coming from like straight on, you can see like, the snakes on the side kind of coming off. So that's fucking adorable. I know everyone else kind of hated it, but I love Cleo with the like pink lip. So that's on me. But yeah, and definitely after like kind of like moving her hair around, I do definitely say this, say, say this darker blue at the very least is Saran. It just feels very like, I don't, I don't want to say grimy, but like, it just feels like the way Serene feels. If you, if, you, if you unbox Laguna, like how just like weird her hair felt out of the box, this feels very much like that. It doesn't feel like a coarse like Claudine's did. But yeah, now I shall kind of put her in what I'm going to think it I'm going to be, what I think is going to be her display outfit. I'm not entirely sure yet because I do like kind of all of her pieces. So I'm not as set on her display outfit just because I wasn't, I just don't know how I feel about anything really at, at this point, you know? Um, it could really go either way. I did also come to realize that I think if you wanted to, um, this top, just kind of like remove this, let me just, that if you wanted to pretend, um, because she, she doesn't have a creep of her doll, this could, this could be her like pajama outfit, because I was kind of putting these shorts on her and they feel very like pajama-y material. So like, I don't know, this could be like kind of like a passable pajama outfit, especially for Cleo because she's very like glamorous anyway. So I thought she wouldn't wear something like very dowdy or plain. So, you know, if you wanted to pretend this is her like creep of outfit, you totally could. Granted, neither of her shoes fit very like sleepovery. This outfit, at the very least, felt kind of like sleep sleepover party to me anyway. So there is that because when it comes to a final display, you know, like I do like this outfit, but I also like her in her like blue outfit, you know. So I'm very like torn because I do love blue on her, but also <sighs> kind of all, all of her dolls have the like, kind of the same color scheme so far with like kind of like bluer, with either like blue or gold. So I do want to kind of like change things up. Um, but I have no idea. What I'm, really, what I'm really gonna do. So I shall get back to you whenever I decide, um, at least for now anyway. So yeah. So oops, I totally forgot to undo the little last door. So that's my bad. Um, as of right now, I've already filmed the little outro section, but oops, forgot to do this section. So the final baggie came with three little food related accessories. One of them is this little wrap that has all this little stuff inside of it. Um, I know there's like an actual like name for this that people people called it because like a similar thing came with her um, core doll, but I forget what it's actually called. Um, so for now, it's just a little wrap. So my bad, but no idea what, that, what it's actually called. She also comes with this little drink that says Falafel Pharaoh. And it points out with, with Frankie's review, but this straw is like movable a little bit. So that's cool at the very least. And finally, there's a little thingy of hot sauce. So I've made the decision for the time being that as of right now, that's going to be her kind of like display look. Um, I did remove her earrings because like the pink, while well, I do like it, it kind of feels out of nowhere if you don't, you know, match it with her other shoes. So for now, she's wearing all of her golden stuff. But yeah, it is like, very cute on her at the very least. And I can't wait to fix her hair because it is all like tangled in the back. That was Sculptmit Cleo. I'm still totally undecided because I might change it up. But for now, this will kind of do because I do want to kind of play around with her other outfits. Just kind of see what I can like come up with almost. Because I'm just still not fully decided on, on like either of them really. 
and I was right that this jacket does fit better on this top because there aren't like as much like these aren't like sleeves getting in the way where I was like the, her, her second top does have this like top section that is going to kind of interfere with how the jacket sits really so yeah that is my thoughts on Cleo thankfully there is just, there doesn't appear to be any like peeling like in Frankie's where Frankie had that collar that started to peel I haven't like fully checked these out but nothing started to peel that I noticed anyway even on the like necklace the paint doesn't appear to like peel it doesn't appear to have peeled at all so that's pretty nice hopefully that trend continues at the very least so i did a cleo because of how people voted on my instagram so in the comments there should be a link to my instagram where you can vote on whatever one comes next or you can just comment down below which of the remaining three ghouls you want to see next and that is jackie laura claudine and laguna so yeah just comment whatever you want to see and i shall unbox that one next. If you like the video, subscribe, like, share all of that, and hopefully I will see you next week.